Welcome back to Rotary Rockets. Today we're going to take a look at our ejection charge to eject the nose cone and the parachute. Now because we use homemade sugar motors they don't have a built-on ejection system. So instead we use a flight computer to detect when the rocket reaches apogee. That sets off our ejection charge ejecting our nose cone and our parachute. So let's take a look at building our homemade ejection charge. Here's the parts we're going to use to build the ejection charge. I've got some black powder. This is the 4F Superfine, but any black powder will work fine. We've got an E-match or an electronic match. This is a half inch CPVC cap. And then we've got just a bottle cap. Now this part is optional, but we like to use it to protect the parachute and the cords from the heat of the blast. And you'll see how that works in just a little bit. And then some tools we'll need. We've got a drill, we'll need a hot melt glue gun, and then we've got a digital voltmeter so that we can check the continuity on the E-match. First thing we need to do is drill a hole through the cap. Now the size of the drill bit isn't all that important as long as the hole will be big enough to get the wire for our E-match through. So I'm going to start from the inside and drill out just down in the bottom corner. And clean that hole up. Now before we install the E-match we need to use the digital voltmeter to make sure that the E-match has continuity and that it's not defective. So we unwrap the two wires, we'll set the meter into diode mode or continuity mode and we'll just make sure that we get a beep. So that E-match is good. And Then we want to take off this little plastic cap. It just slides off and we'll use that in just a minute. Now we'll just twist the wires together just to get them through the hole and we'll feed that down into the cap. Now we need to seal around the hole where the wire goes through. So I'm just going to put a finger in there and hold that igniter down against the bottom inside and using my hot melt glue gun I'm just going to put a little dab of hot melt glue around the bottom bend that wire down and put a little dab of glue around the top and we'll give that a minute to harden up. Now we're ready to put some of the black powder into the little cap. Now this little plastic piece that we slid off of the E-match actually makes a nice little cup except it has a really small hole on the bottom where the wire slipped through. So I just took a little bit of hot melt glue, sealed that hole off and it makes a nice little cap. Now the amount of black powder that you'll need for the ejection charge really depends on the size of your rocket, the weight of your nose cone and how tight your nose cone is. This is for a four inch rocket that we like to build and we've tested this a bunch of times so for this little small cap amount we like to fill this up twice with the black powder and that just goes in to the cap right over the E-match Now we just need to seal that up using the hot melt glue. Now sometimes the E-match will actually stick up a little bit. We want to make sure that it's actually buried in the black powder. So if we need to tap it a little bit and get the black powder to go to one side to bury that E-match, that would be best. Once we're happy with that, we'll just go around the inside and just put in a bead of hot melt glue all around the edge and a lot of that's going to drip down onto the black powder. That's okay. You just don't want to shake this a lot and get that black powder disturbed. Once that's all settled in, if there's a little opening in the center, you can just put a dab of hot melt glue to fill that in and let that set up. Now this is basically done, but we are going to add one more component. I'm just going to run a bead of hot melt glue around the top 
rim of that cap. And then we're going to take our soda bottle cap and place that down, press it gently, and let that set up. And what that does is, instead of the hot gases from the explosion coming straight out of the cap and maybe hitting our parachute or our cords, this bottle cap is in the way to deflect that. And then also, once this is in the rocket, we're going to have a piece of fabric and we usually wet this down with some water so that it's just damp. It's not dripping, it's just damp. And we'll have that wrapped in that and placed into the rocket. And again, that's just another protection to keep the hot gases of the explosion away from our parachute and away from our cords. And to show you how this works, we've just got it connected to a battery charger. And here we go. Here's the exploded cap. Now the explosion doesn't do any damage to the CPVC cap. It just blows a hole through the hot melt glue. And then if you recover the soda bottle cap from the launch, you can reuse that as well. If you lost it during the launch, just drink another bottle of soda. Now the cap can be reused. It's a little difficult, but you can use a screwdriver or a razor knife or whatever you need to dig out all that hot melt glue and you'll be able to reuse that CPVC cap. And that's our homemade ejection charge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.